Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manx. And I'm still Cyan. And our scouts have returned, and as expected, there are quite a few Imperial soldiers stashed from there, apparently. I see. So the enemy has prepared for our arrival. I was just running around doing exploration and this popped up. I actually thought we'd do a support episode, but we'll see what happens. If, if the mission is really cool, I might just play the mission. It matters right, not. Let's see. I will kill them all, whether they are one or one hundred. Are we gonna get the line? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that's not necessary? What would you do if you saw the people who stole everything from you? If you saw them right before your eyes, living carefree lives and feeling no guilt, would you feel nothing? Do nothing? Five years ago, did you not deem the woman who killed Geralt to be unforgivable? Yeah, and then I killed her. <laughs> I yeah, honestly, Dimitri speaking. You, you couldn't pretty big sense. Her crime, so you took up your sword in pursuit. Ah, eh, you're right. Precisely my point. We're the same, you and I. Maybe not completely You're the same. You're wasting time. There's nothing to be gained from exchanging words with a boar that has lost its mind. Felix? Uh-oh. This is war. Every last one of us has lost someone we care for. But we all choose to suppress our anger and grief and go right on living. Ooh. Do you know why? Felix, uh, giving Demetri the smack? Uh, because... <laughs> Because, Yay, nihilism! <laughs> because it's pointless? That's right. All the boar is accomplishing is stacking up more corpses. Tell me, Felix. If the dead are beyond reach, is it not also pointless to mourn or even bury those who are lost? <laughs> that mind of yours. I'm done here. Remember, Professor. It's not compassion for this fool that has brought our army so far. There are those of us who despise the Empire, and those who side with the Church. If we keep running down this path, it's only a matter of time before the ground beneath us collapses. Hmm. Felix being the voice of reason here. That's enough, Felix. I didn't Felix. expect it, but it's... Go okay. to your room! <laughs> You're a damned fool, old man. The soldiers are ready to march on your command. Then let's move out at once. Every moment counts. Understood. Let's show those Empire dastards the power of the Knights of Fargus. Hey, he said it. Hmm? Dastard. Fire Emblem's favorite word. Oh, right. <laughs> I, th I thought he said Setha. I was like, huh? What? Really? No, he said it. Oh, he said it. All right, so what is this mission? Uh, it's uh, the Great Bridge Co. Uh, Ku. Yeah. <laughs> After fending off the Empire, your forces decide it's time to advance. But first, you must capture the Great Bridge of Murdin, a strategic crossing point over to the Am Iron Mid River, which borders the Alliance and Empire. It's a really cool way to end to start the episode, but I really like. We got so many supports to do, man. Like, we gotta get we gotta we gotta get them out of the way. But first, let's do some certifications. So let's see if Manga can become a Falconite now. Uh, fifty-three percent, good enough for me. So apparently, uh, Cyan told me that luck impacts exams. Apparently so. Fuck. Your luck is not high enough, Mangs. When professor, when the professor doesn't succeed, you know you're fucked. Not my best. <laughs> not my best. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's try another one. Sylvain Dark Knight. Maybe. Woo! Okay. Canto time. Finally. Finally I just realized the Dark Knight look a lot like the Death Knight. Uh, I think it's the exact armor he wears. Huh, yeah. Okay. No big deal, really. And Ingrid Holy Knight! Everyone gets Kanto. Woo! She can't fail. Unless she misses a 92. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Eee, wow, she looks good. And I think that's it. Oh, Setheth, actually. He's level. I doubt he can. Nah, I can't even. He's not all even allowed to try. Oh, he hasn't trained to axe or fly enough. No. But I'm happy about that. At least uh, at least I got two mounted, more mounted units now, so that's great. Um, Mercedes. I don't think I even trained her bo uh, horse rank, so nah, she's 0% chance to become Bow Knight. That's not happening. That is not happening. All right. Well, um, I say we do some supports then. So uh, let's start with what does Manga have here? Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. 
so many people to fuck. Oh wait, here we go. Seth of B. Nice. Professor, a moment. I am sorry that I doubted your ability. I deeply regret ever holding such a view of you. I think I've seen this before. It is obvious to me now that you are extraordinary. Or maybe not. Really? Do you I doubt think if you used Seth and Black now? Eagles. I did not. Okay, well, you probably didn't get the support. Natural. You've lived your whole life knowing that. Yeah, no, I haven't seen this. Yourself. Not even Gerald could have possibly known all there is to know about you. So mysterious. But I wonder, are you satisfied with that? What do you mean? Are you content not knowing who you are? Or do you yearn to know more? Do I wish to know more? That was a foolish question, of course. You are not the sort to be complacent. Also, comment section apparently, yeah, the turtle was Saint Indic. Mm-hmm. They got very mad at me for saying you're not Saint Indic. So, only one more question matters. I let it go. Are you ready? The truth. All of it. Learning it will doubtlessly have direct consequences on your life. I do not know what those will be. You may decide, once you learn it, that you wish you hadn't. But even if you have such regrets, you will never be able to return to ignorance. So, are you ready to know the truth? Uh, okay. I see. That is what I wish to hear. You're setting this up now, Seth. You better fucking deliver. Since the Archbishop put so much faith in you, I will continue to offer my aid. More than that, I will put my faith in you as well. And I will do all that Sounds is within like my the sport's power gonna to end. you someday reach the truth. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Okay. God. He was really hyping it up like he knew. God, this game te cock teases you a lot. Holy shit. Oh, I, it's time, Byla, to tell you the true power behind your ancestry. How what are you two talking about? Oh, nothing. This three houses does this a little bit too much, in my opinion. All right, what's this? Uh... Why are you Ooh. taking over my cleaning responsibilities? Oh boy. <laughs> I'd make like a whammon cleaning joke here, but it would be ta it would be it would not be tasteful. You're wounded and you're going too slowly. I couldn't stand to watch. You're still fretting over Ever me, the are gentleman. You? I'm fine now, really. It wasn't even serious. I could have handled the situation alone. That enemy wasn't much of a threat. Yes, yes, we all know you could have. But I also didn't want to risk something unforeseen befalling you. I've been doing some thinking. I feel a bit lost. I don't know that I'm cut out to be a knight after all. Ooh. Without fulfilling that dream, without being a knight, I've been asking myself where my place is in the world. And I think... I think I've found my answer. I don't want to lose anyone anymore. Then you should not join one of my Iron Man streams. So I want to Terrible protect idea, those really. I hold dear. That's why you are protecting me, huh? What a fool you are. Foolish to act in line with what I value most? Were I to die, I would die knowing I followed my heart, my truest calling. I've been reading through more of that book I was telling you about. Recall the hypothetical question it posed? Do you carry out the orders or protect your hometown? You've been reading that garbage again? <laughs> the book never specified that one should prioritize the commander's orders. Instead, it suggested that one should follow their heart in the matter. That's what a knight, that's what anyone being true to themselves should do. That's just the editor's opinion. Of course, and I find value in that opinion. Glenn died the editor often has very heart, good opinions. Not heeding the commands of the country or even the royal family. His death pains me to this day. It was a tragedy. But had he survived, I think he would have suffered. I will follow his example. No matter the outcome, no matter the circumstance, I believe in myself. <laughs> you know nothing. Are you incapable of just saying something nice, Felix? What is it that you know then? What is it you fight for, Felix? My own beliefs. I see no difference from my own stance. You don't understand. You fight to be stronger than everyone that you might protect those you care for, correct? Okay, fine, you do understand. Oh, oh. My point is, don't let this happen again. If you died, I'd be annoyed. 
Oh. <laughs> he is not an ant lord. He's not an ant lord. He's a Sundere. I suggest you continue to grow stronger. If that happens, I might allow you to protect me too. Oh. You're insufferable. The baka. Honestly, it's a lot of soon, not too much dare. If you died, I'd be, I'd be annoyed. Not like I'd like you or anything. Sylvain, eat these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how we're starting this out. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> these nuts. What are these? <laughs> these nuts. Oh my he's God! Gonna say, itself. He's gonna say. He's gonna say these nuts. A girl in town gave them to me, but I don't want them. Right. You don't like sweet stuff. Thanks. I'll eat them later. So, what do you need? Want me to help you get closer to a girl? Just point her out. How, so when's the last guy I'd ask for help? He just take the girl. You're incorrigible. No. He's one of the I wanted friends. to thank you for your help in battle. If you hadn't spotted that enemy ambush, well, I would have been killed. Nah, I didn't do anything special. Friends help each other out, especially on the battlefield. Just a little give and take, you know? You never change. Nope. I try to stay on an even keel. You're always... Always what? <sighs> Nothing. Come on. If you've got something on your mind, then say it. You're... You're not completely terrible all the time, Bubaka. Maybe I'll tell you later. Maybe I won't. <laughs> he is really Tsundere. Fair enough. I'll be having something to eat while you're deciding... Whatever it is you're deciding. Actually, come with me. My treat. If you do want to talk, then I'm right there. Okay, just this once. Only because you saved my life. Free food, possible conversation, and when we're done, we can find some girls. Uh. <laughs> it's a joke. Felix, I was joking. <laughs> Come on, let's just go eat. Oh wow. Oh wow, Felix, you really, you really are something. Oh, Felix oh. Seth, that might be fun. I didn't expect I that. You said it? Finally noticed me, I see. Good to see that you are so dedicated to your training. Do you have need of my sword? No, this is not a military matter. I would like to discuss the distance you seem to be keeping from the others. Distance? I don't follow. I have noticed that you like to keep others at arm's length. And in most cases, quite a bit further. <laughs> keeping a close eye on me. They don't share my values, that's all. Is that why you train alone? Because your friends do not share your values? You seem displeased. I suppose you're going to tell me, to defeat your enemies, you must have dependable allies. That's not exactly how I would phrase it, but having good relationships with your allies is essential in combat. So remember, Felix, always build them supports. I am sure you realize that it is easier to bond with people when you interact with them more. There are limits to what one person can do alone. Great things cannot be achieved without allies. I don't know, Seth, have you seen Felix on the battlefield? <laughs> You sound like my father. You're saying it's in my own interest to make friends? To put it simply, yes. As much as you possibly can. To be honest, I envy you. Because I know what it is like to not have many people to call friends. I wouldn't have guessed that. There are so many devout believers. I am talking about friends. People to speak with on equal terms. You have many friends here. You should take care to attend to them. I'll consider your advice, but I'm not usually one to change my mind. Friends suck, change my mind. Uh, to be young. <laughs> yeah, this is a cute support. Jake? I, I've got, I got nothing, it's just cute support. Sedith is a nice mentor character. All I right, think my not... mic cut out there for a second. Oh, I just, need, I just needed to make sure you didn't like drop from the call. Nope, still alive. That happened once with Mecha. I was like, I, I looked through an entire support, and I was like, I saw Mecha typing to me in chat, like, can't you hear me? <laughs> Ooh. Flane, what's that you're hiding? Oh no! Is it a fish? My surprise is spoiled. I had brought some fruits for you to cut up in addition to the firewood. Oh right, right. I remember their support now. Amusing. No, I'm not doing that again. I've got better uses for my sword than chopping up fruit and firewood. I cannot imagine what could be better than chopping fruit. Chopping up my enemies. <laughs> oh my god, Felix, please. We are trying so hard to give you the benefit of the doubt here. You may be, I'm, I'm not. You say that so you have many enemies, so you would rather chop people than firewood. Is that it? 
That's not how I'd put it. But a blade's purpose is to kill. To chop wood, use an axe. To chop food, use a knife. It's simple. Surely it is not forbidden to use your sword for other things, like chopping fruit. Oh, it's gonna like wanna chop her here. Swords that cut inanimate objects are serving a much finer purpose than those that cut living beings. What a noble sentiment. But without a blade to cut down your enemies, you cannot win. Those who are weak, I mean, magic lose is a thing. They die. One could even say that it Those is everything. Strong win and live on. I understand why you both get bloodshed, but you must know that it has a purpose. And what purpose might that be? Didn't he just like say that the only thing Demetra did was like stacking up corpses? A purpose. Let's just leave it at that. I feel like this is a support that should have happened before the time skip. Oh yeah, it is. I think maybe. I'll continue to wield my sword. Hard to and tell, but it feel, I feel like Felix developed quite a bit enemies. over the time skip. He probably mellowed out a bit. <laughs> he certainly is a stubborn one. So, uh, one thing I'm wondering, like, what I know, I know at this point that Faye and Sethith are, or sorry, Faye, uh, Flane and Sethith are pretty old, but why does no one comment on the fact that Flane doesn't change over the time skip? Mm, I don't know, anime logic. Good day, Ferdinand. Working on your armor again? Good day to you too. That is right. I mean, I guess I no one's ever brushed the hair by her ears. Now, allow me to wager a guess. Are you feeling hungry as usual? As usual? It is not as though I am always searching for a meal. I just, I am rather interested in armor. Do you mind if I peer over your shoulder while you work? I think you are interested in Ferdinand. Of course not. Please feel he free is to such observe. Such a dashing knight. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. Oh, so many different types. Relax now, Sethus might be watching. Oh wow. my god. <laughs> Helmets, armor, I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> the range of defensive items seems innumerable. This one seems different from the rest of them. It is akin to a gauntlet, except... Flame, careful! Huh? Oh! Flame, are you alright? Did you injure yourself? I am well. But what was that? That could have been serious. Uh, please forgive me. I should have warned you first. Uh, this is a new type of gauntlet with a spring-loaded blade over the knuckles. The mechanism is rather easily triggered. Uh, how foolish of me not to warn you. No, I am the one who is overly curious and reached out without permission. My apologies. But, um, when you snatched me out of harm's way, you... Uh, you embraced me quite tightly. Oh, someone has a crush. Ah, uh, yes. Told you. You were in danger and That's my adorable. simply took hold. I hope you will forgive my rashness. No, it is not that at all. It is just... You hugged me so tight. Uh, Seth just hurt? breaks <laughs> down the wall. <laughs> I did not mean to cause you any discomfort. Not at all. Not, not in the slightest. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Such a delicate creature, and that sweet demeanor. Mm -mm -mm. Snap out of it for mm -mm. a minute. I'm really just imagining Seth busting down that door in the back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's an adorable support, though. Yeah, Flane, is, Flane is adorable. Huh, time for another Ash support. Speaking of adorable. Excuse me, Ash. <laughs> Do you have a moment? Incoming comment about Mercedes' appearance in 3, 2, 1. I I'll hold my tongue. to finish cooking a dish, and I would love for you to have a taste. Sounds good. I'd be happy to. That's the praying animation. Wow, Mercedes. This is delicious. I use that I see you're reusing assets game. It gave off such a lovely aroma. How dare you have a smart development cycle. For <laughs> shame. I use the right amount of spice, too. Even I could eat it without burning my tongue. I'm a much better cook now, thanks to you. I hope you can continue teaching me. Oh, definitely. If something is mild enough not to burn your tongue, you you're doing too. it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Hey, even after all the trouble I've caused you? Seeing you persevere has made me really happy. In fact, you've reminded me of someone I cared about a lot. Oh, someone you cared about? Romantically? This is all so sudden, Ash. I, I don't... Uh, I, I didn't mean it that way. I was actually thinking about my brother. <laughs> Ash, you idiot! <laughs> I didn't even know you had a brother. She threw you the, the softball. Son of Minato, my adoptive father. I always called him. Oh, he's the guy who got killed. Failure never got to oh, him. All right. All he'd ever do is laugh and try again. Yeah, that Whenever was the guy. I was feeling down about a setback. He would cheer me up. 
He'd say something like, don't worry, we'll tackle it together next time. I was always happy to have him around. Gosh, this is sweet. Damn, did you person. blow it? Mm-hmm. He was. And I get the same feeling from you. You're like a brother, Mercedes. I've God. done nothing but bother you with frivolous little uh, things. I'm sure I could never I find it funny that the brother. only time someone directly re references romance is that, like, when it's being rebuffed. But I'd like mm -hmm. to stay by your side. If you'll have me. What do you mean? What, do you want to be my brother? I don't get this. Uh, what do you, you mean? Idiot. I want to be there to help you in times of need or to cheer you up when you're feeling down. And I should be able to manage that without doing too much damage. Well, you, you don't really do a lot of damage anyway, Mercedes. So honestly, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Thank you, Mercedes. I know I can rely on you. God. Mercedes uh, just got family zoned. <laughs> How can you be so fucking dense? Alright, Ashanette, let's go. Time for him to be oblivious oh, to- Oh! How unlucky oh. that we were I... assigned to clean this ancient tower. That's a very dark tower. It's Man, it sure is nice that we Someone didn't have to design to a background for this. <laughs> this is a bit lazy, to be honest. With all the windows boarded up, it's so dark. There are strange noises. Like that noise. What was that? A rat. Tell me it was a rat. If it's pitch darkness, how can they even see each other? Better than Just a ghost. imagine. You're Use your imagination, ghosts, Do you not have not? one of those? I didn't think you'd be. Nah, it didn't work. You haven't seen what I've seen. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh no! What was that <laughs> it's noise? Seth. It's okay. It's just the wind blowing the door shut. Oh no! The latch is rusted. It won't budge. What? Looks like we're stuck in here we're alone together here? all night. I'm sorry. You're just like my brother. I think to prop the door open. Don't worry about that now. Maybe he had a really complicated family situation. Well, what if we were to pry I mean, the boards off the windows? He did, but yes, more so. We can do it in no time. Oh, there's something on my face. Calm down, Ash. It's a cobweb. Just a cobweb. We've got to pull ourselves together. Now, which of the windows should we check? Uh, I can't stand it here in the pitch dark. Oh, I've got one here. Not, you can stand use light back. magic. Oh yeah, by the way, the reason why I think Sajate and um, is different on Annette is because it's not like... Um, I'm using Sajate... You're getting Ser Sajate and Seraphim. Yeah. Yes, I'm mixing up Sajate and Seraphim. I think, yeah, that's why they look different. Oh, we made it. I wouldn't want to go through that again. For a moment there, I didn't think we'd make it out alive. No. Oh, wait. I've lost it. It's gone. What is it? The doll my father gave me. Oh, I must have dropped it. In the tower? Are you going back for it? No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I've been meaning to throw it out for a while now. Gilbert disliked this. Are you sure? If it was a gift from your father... I mean, yes, your, all your father does is, like, helped. shove you around, Let's really. Let's just get back to the monastery. <laughs> uh, right. This was a cute support, but it was a bit silly. Yeah. Mm. I suppose there's nothing wrong with a few silly supports. No, 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 no. Uh, mm. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Speaking, okay. Of, speaking of father. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work, and you will certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. Really? Wait. Is he proficient? Uh, pretty sure Gilbert isn't that good at bows, but okay. One learns Maybe the he is. Craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow. 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course! It's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. You're old! I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. Don't be modest, you're a great knight. Being modest no, is Gilbert's... 
<laughs> it's Gilbert's it's whole personality. <laughs> if there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I, um, well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight. But for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own, yet mine, I do not speak of. Oh, how come? Because it is personal. Oh. Mine, it allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh. Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. Oh, protect your brother, Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. My brother Mercedes. Oh wait, is this gonna be all oh, right? Mercedes, you're looking divine as always. Their B support was hilarious. Good evening, <laughs> it was great. Thank you for coming out to see me. Just the two of us meeting at this time of night? You move quicker than I thought. Mm -hmm. I don't know what speed has to do with it, but there was something I wanted to talk to you about. She even sounds like Louise. Ah, okay. <laughs> I probably should have figured that out. I can be so forgetful at times. I neglected to mention this the other day. I meant to say that I know you've been through a lot in this life. Huh? Me? Your parents have placed a great deal of pressure on you as their heir. And it's all because you were born with a crest. You've had to put up with such lofty expectations. All of the kingdom's noble houses expect a lot from their heirs. I'm no different from any other noble guy or gal. We've all got responsibilities. But didn't you mention that your brother envied you enough to wish you dead? I'm sure that wasn't easy. Thinking about it, life was probably a lot harder for my brother than it ever has been for me. Didn't you also mention that women were only interested in having your, as you say, crest baby? Eugenics emblem. Interested in the particulars, yeah. but who, who, who would ever like pair up people just to pass down holy blood and skills? <laughs> Can you imagine such a world? <laughs> I can't. I get the feeling that you don't care very much for these women who throw themselves at you. Um, I'd appreciate it if maybe you kept that observation between the two of us. Your no, we can't let Twitter know me. that I'm a deep character. I understand the pain you've had to Ooh, Twitter does not like Sylvain. I know you've Twitter got is very split on these two, but... That's why you feel comfortable letting your guard down around me. Come now. That's enough with the sad smile. Mercedes. Was my sad smile really that bad? Did it ruin my dashing good looks? Not at all. You actually look more handsome to me with honesty on your face. Aw. Here come the waterworks. Aw, she made him cry. Don't the be ashamed support's actually kind of beautiful. Yeah. I'm here to protect you. Will you protect me in return? I will. I promise. You know, Mercedes, you really are a special lady. Aww. Holy shit, I love this. That was really, really good. I love... This, this game really kicks your teeth in emotionally-wise sometimes with some supports. Like, most of the supports are very nice. There's just some of them that are so much better than they have any right to be. Wow, really good. <sighs> Training on your hands with my fire emblem. You really do work <laughs> hard. I hate to break it to you, Sylvain. But there's nobody here for you to flirt with. So there's not much reason to hang around. Oof. Oof. The, the, the venom. You're here, aren't you? Oh. How ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as your face. Great insult. Did you really say something like that ta -da -da -ta. to a handsome guy like me? I'm crushed. Joking aside, may I join you? I only came out here so I could train too. Sure. Just don't get in my way. I've been thinking about it. And I really depend on you. Maybe that's weird since I'm older than you, but still. Hitting on me? Again? Have some dignity, would you? No, I'm being honest. I thought you'd listen. Hey, I'd like it if you didn't get too far away from me on the battlefield, okay? 
Just stay where I can see you. I'll stay as long as I can. You're useless without me, after all. Who? What? No, I'm saying if there's one thing I can do on the battlefield, it's keep you safe. Whatever helps you feel better. Stay and protect oh my God. me. Then. I couldn't bear it if you went off and died on me while I wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's my line. It's getting late. We'd better head out. You're right. I'm exhausted anyway. You haven't been practicing enough. All that time you waste chasing after women would be better spent training. I'll train with you anytime, so just... Hmm? What's that strange look for? I just... Oh, uh, well... You're going to think I'm being a jerk or hitting on you or whatever. When we're side by side like this, training, I feel... I don't know. Oddly at ease. I know what you mean. It's probably because we've been friends for so long. That must be it. Let's never change. Friends forever? <laughs> Absolutely. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends, Sylvain. Hmm. Not if I'm I have not any. allowed to get the A support. <laughs> yeah. Not allowed. Oh, I know who I'm pairing up. Gotta contradict them. Alright, Mercedes. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, Mercedes Ferdinand. You know, stepping in to prevent extortion, that was quite brave of you. What? You're talking about that time in town. Yeah, five years I ago. I say I did anything brave, really. I just asked what was going on. No need to be humble. Helping the weak is precisely what a virtuous noble does. I... I don't think what I did is quite the same thing. What do you mean by that? The point I was trying to make is that some things in this world can't be bought or sold with money. I think I let myself get a little too worked up, though. It's just... When I saw it happening... It reminded me of my own past. Your past? Hmm. You were originally a daughter of House Bartels, a minor noble family, I heard. You abandoned your title, and now you live as a commoner. I actually forget, is Mercedes actually a commoner or a noble? Is there more to the story? Huh. I don't remember. Life was uh, I could actually I could check her starting stats. For us. So my mother and I fled from House Bartels. We found refuge in a small church in Fargus and lived there for a few years. A man appeared one day and said that he wanted to adopt me. It was obvious that he only cared about my bloodline and crest. Actually, yeah, she's a commoner. She starts out with a com as a commoner with a crest. Oh, okay. Church. It's interesting. In the end, I had no choice but to leave with him. That soldier we saw? I guess he just reminded me of my adopted father. The man who exploited you so that he could join the nobility. Yes, I understand. But I must confess, that part of the story confuses me. There is nothing to gain from having a noble title. <laughs> What's so funny? I never thought I'd hear you question the value of nobility, Ferdinand. Me neither. Oh, well, that is not quite what I meant. Using someone else to obtain high status? With no effort and no accomplishment? Certainly you can obtain a title like that. But it hardly makes you a noble. I yeah, noble's not agree. a title, it's a state of mind. By the same token, although you are legally a commoner, in your heart, you are a proud and virtuous noble. That is what I think, at any rate. Hmm. Okay then. B plus. Alright, oh, oh yes! Daddy issues! Apparently, this unlocks the paralog. Oh. Annette, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> Father, wait! How long will you keep avoiding me like this? I have lost the right to face you or your mother. This has nothing to do with rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed. You are my daughter. Yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, you old fuck. Turn around and give your daughter a hug. You really it's think it's not helping anyone. to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. I'm fine, but mother deserves as much. And before Listen to be, be, your fucking daughter. And before the comments go like, "Man, you got to watch his A support to understand the reasonings why he's doing this." Regardless of what reasons he has, he's a dick for not hugging his father. Oh, sorry, hugging his daughter. And that's like the sweetest girl in the world. She'd forgive him. I finished my studies at the heartbeat. School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. 
I have a busy and satisfying life now. But Mother... She's waited for you to return all this time. Living under my uncle's roof. I guess that he probably, like, caused the death of someone or something. And then he feels really bad for it. I... I am sorry, Annette. I'm not I sure if this is all just grief over letting Dimitri's me. father die or what. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand. But it is the way of things. Maybe he had an affair. As for you, Matt, say the word and I will disappear from but your life forever. She, she doesn't want that. Did you not listen to a no, word she said? I must <laughs> return to my duties. People say I'm bad at paying attention. God damn. Father, how could you be so cruel? Support rank up! Woo! All right. Hmm. Nope. Ooh! He's not I haven't ready seen, I haven't seen this one before. <sighs> Is something troubling you, Ingrid? Oh, Sedith. You seem to have caught me when I thought nobody was around. Perhaps I can help, if you would like to share. I wouldn't want to bother you with my trivialities. I will not pry, of course. But if you keep it to yourself, no one will be able to help you. That's true. It's you know, Seth is one father. of those characters that I really disliked at first, but for some reason I, I like him a lot now. Count Galatea. I have hmm. met him once or twice. He came off a little harsh towards Pyleth, but well, you have in his defense, it was understandable. Count Galatea's financial situation is precarious. Many regions of Fargus are harsh and infertile but our lands are especially so. There were several years of fruitless harvest. It nearly ruined us. We could barely feed our troops. Then I was born bearing a crest, after generations born none. Suddenly my family hung its future on me. My father had hopes that with my crest, I'd be married into a noble family, and that House Galatea's financial troubles would be a thing of the past. Ah, I see. And the other house would benefit from the addition of your crest-bearing blood. It seems to me you have suffered much for the misfortune of being born with a crest. I beg your pardon? I know crests are highly valued, but they are also a burden. My feelings are mixed. You truly think so? But you're so devoted to the goddess. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. Perhaps one day I will expound upon my opinion of crests in greater detail with you. For now, let it suffice to say that whether or not you bear one is secondary to your identity. You are a person, first and foremost. And you should be permitted to grow as a person, crest or not. I agree. Thank you for listening. If you ever wish to discuss this again, consider me available whenever you please. Thank you so much. I will say that it is... Like, I don't really know how the crest came into being, if it is as they say, with the goddess bestowing them, or they're just some sort of, like, maybe they have some sort of other origin, we don't know. But if it was, like, a gift provided by the goddess, the goddess was a bit of a dick for, like, like adding such an RNG system, you know? I mean, I guess it's Fire Emblem, so it makes sense, but still. I mean, you could say that about if any uh, god in our in. world, too. Praying to the goddess. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. God's a dick. Hmm. Yeah, I had the right idea. Fire Emblem never really, yeah, not never no portrayed religion of a power of friendship. Never, never portrayed religion well. Yes, I am. Excellent. So persistent in your devotion. I quite admire that about you. Oh no, it's not like that. No need for false modesty. I hardly know anyone with more piety. I need to be going. Wait a moment. Oh, um, yes. Uh, did you need something? I have a suggestion. I have been meaning to tell you about it for a while. Have you ever considered projecting more confidence? Wow. <laughs> Motivational every speaker word is for a name. With pessimism and devoid of enthusiasm. To gain the trust of commoners, you must appear self assured at all times. I have no need to earn the trust of the common people as a noble. All I want is to live a quiet life and to not be a bother to anyone. I dare not hope for anything beyond that. But you are the only daughter of the esteemed Margrave Edmund. Regardless of what you hope for, you must concede that you have inherited certain responsibilities by virtue of your birth. If that's the case, then I don't care to be a responsible person. Farewell. One would think she does not wish to be a noble. Hmm. Hmm, how about that? One would think she doesn't really want to live at all. How about that? I'm not going to do the Marianne prologue. 
Oh. Hey, Marianne, what's she in? She's so fucking big. Huh? Oh, um. All my favorite dishes are on the menu today. I might have grabbed too much. You want some? No, thanks. I. All you've got on your plate are leaves. Are you sure that'll fill you up? Uh, I'm done eating now. I have to go. Huh? You're already done eating? But there's still food on your plate. He's gonna eat it. Hey, Marianne! Huh. Maybe she's not feeling well. I should probably go check on her later. I'm getting a big Mang's vibe oh, from Raphael. So? I'm a little gray starling told me that you can find berries if you fly out toward the mountains. Oh, I found Marianne. I don't know if she spent her time here. It sounds like she's talking to someone. What's that? You want to try some nectar from the flowers in the greenhouse? That might be tricky. Hmm. I guess you could try it if I'm already there. Otherwise, you might get locked in. Hey, Marianne. Who are you talking to? <laughs> it was just a bird. <laughs> it was just... Huh? <laughs> the birdie flew off. <laughs> Is it the Dawn Brigade? Yes. It looks like he has. What are you doing here, Raphael? You were acting a little strange when we were eating earlier, so I wanted to check on you. I was worried. Uh, that's sweet of you, but I'm fine. Are you sure? Well, that's good to hear. As long as... Wait a minute! Were you just talking to a bird? Excuse me? <laughs> I knew it! You can talk to birds! I'm right, aren't I? Uh, um... Yes. That's incredible! This place is full of interesting folks. But I didn't think anyone spoke birdie. No, that's not it. This bird just happened to be speaking to you. Amazing! I hope I get to meet a bird who speaks human one day. <laughs> you know, maybe you'll be added to heroes. Never changed, Raphael. All right, well, we're done with all the supports. Woo! All right, friendship. Jo join us next time as we actually play the game. Until then, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, subscribe. Toodaloo. Bye.